Hi guys, and welcome back to the How Much Tech channel. Gaming on the go used to be the domain of smartphones and Nintendo consoles. While that's still mostly true, the rise of handheld PCs means there's more variety than ever when it comes to choosing the best handheld gaming consoles. Devices like the Steam Deck, Asus ROG Ally, and Lenovo Legion Go let you play a huge library of games once consigned to Windows 11 PCs, while gaming-centric smartphones can let you run impressive mobile games. And of course, Nintendo still offers some great devices for gaming on the go. With that in mind, keep watching to see our picks for the best handheld gaming consoles and which ones might be most suited for you. All links to the products mentioned in this video are in the description below, so if you're ready, let's get started. Number 5. Nintendo Switch OLED The hybrid nature of the Nintendo Switch means you don't even need to use the Switch OLED as a handheld device, but you're wasting its best feature if you don't. As with most gadgets, an OLED display is transformative, especially given the vibrant color palettes of many of Nintendo's games. Nintendo also fixed the kickstand with its OLED revision, making tabletop mode a far more viable way to play, and we were fairly impressed with the speakers too. The Switch OLED isn't a perfect device, battery life is merely fine, there are more ergonomically pleasing handhelds, and the aging hardware often has a difficult time with third-party console ports. But thanks to a truly incredible software library comprising some of the best games ever made, a clean, simple UI, and that gorgeous 7-inch, 720-pixel OLED display, there simply isn't a better all-around handheld console out there. Number 4. Steam Deck OLED we really liked the original Steam Deck, despite not being overly impressed with its weight, battery life, or LCD display. All three were addressed by Valve with the Steam Deck OLED, making the first effort feel a bit like a rough draft in comparison. The new larger 7.4-inch HDR display, with its 1000 nits maximum brightness, has been blowing us away since we started using the device. It has hugely improved contrast and colors, while OLED's trademark inky blacks make it hard to go back to LCD. The deck OLED is also slightly lighter than Valve's first effort, which you definitely do notice, and it lasts longer between charges too. The Steam Deck OLED is a handheld PC, but its custom-built OS makes it feel like a console in all the right ways. If you want to access your Steam library with minimal faff, you can. Desktop mode then welcomes tinkerers who want to emulate old games and install other launchers. Not every game will function as you want it to out of the box, and the deck struggles to run modern AAA titles with any finesse. It's also still a big bulky handheld, which might prove too much to handle for smaller hands. But if you want to play PC games portably, the Steam Deck OLED is our top pick, and if you want to save some cash, the equally powerful LCD model is still available at a lower price. Number 3. Nintendo Switch Lite in another arena, you might knock the Nintendo Switch Lite for lacking the big screen credentials of its pricier bigger brothers. Here though, we're exclusively talking about handheld consoles, which is exactly where the Switch Lite really sings. Its lighter weight and smaller design not only make it more comfortable to hold than the big Switch, but more portable to boot. You even get a proper D-pad here, which the standard model lacks, arguably making the Lite the retro platformer champ. Once you've played games on the Switch OLED, it's really hard to look at the Switch Lite's 5.5-inch LCD screen. But if you can overlook its inherent inferiority, it's still a great display. Battery life is decent enough, and the fantastic Switch library is just as good here as it is on the regular Switch. You just have to ask yourself if you'll miss the ability to dock it to a TV, or Joy-Con exclusive features like HD Rumble. If a handheld is all you want and you can live without OLED, the Switch Lite is an excellent and affordable option. Number 2. Asus ROG Ally The ROG Ally is the first handheld to really give the Steam Deck a run for its money in terms of mainstream appeal. It wins hands down when talking straight specs, being considerably more powerful and with a higher resolution screen. The Ally will run any PC game you like, regardless of the launcher. It doesn't have an OLED panel, but the full HD resolution is clearly superior to the Dex, and the 120Hz variable refresh rate means you're rarely bothered by unsightly screen tearing. The ROG Ally can't always run games at 1080 pixels without performance taking a noticeable hit. Even when it can, the extra power saps battery life quickly. We struggled to play for longer than 3 hours. 
A bigger stumble is the Windows 11 operating system, which just isn't designed for devices like this. But if you can live with some navigation awkwardness and strange incompatibility issues, the ROG Ally is an exciting handheld to play your PC games on. Number one, Lenovo Legion Go, a novel FPS mode, then turns one of them into a vertical mouse. It works well and definitely makes you feel more accurate than when playing with analog sticks. Like the ROG Ally, you can run pretty much any game you like thanks to Windows. When it works, you can have a lot of fun with Lenovo's handheld, but we didn't like the clunky Legion Space software. Most games can't run well at the highest native resolution either. If they do, they'll zap the battery dead in no time. Still, if you're a Game Pass subscriber, you can turn the Legion Go into a portable Xbox with a great screen. That's a major advantage over the Linux-based Steam Deck, which can only stream Xbox Game Pass via the cloud unless you go through the messy process of installing Windows. I hope you like this video. I have tried my best to provide accurate information about the products that are available on the market so that you can pick the correct product for your purpose. If you have any questions or suggestions, please comment down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.